one. <laughs> what about this? What, our, uh, our blackberries and raspberries and stuff? Um, you sure that's blackberries? Well, oh, oh, the, the multiflora rose. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really... Rose Your rose the hips. Herb of the year. After it, a after it blossoms, a little bud, what's up, the rose, the rose hip. hip. Yeah, I mean, Extremely high in vitamin C. I know, but then, right. then you, you, you use the bathroom and there's another multiflora rose plant, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean... Well, yeah. these, the tea. These know? are such yeah. a, these are such a volatile, I mean, these are awful. These were sold. Uh, Roses are the herb of the year for this year. Really? Yes. They're not native not, either. Not multiflora like rose, though. Farmers That's almanac. No, it's a national oh. thing. It, oh, national. A, I didn't know they herb, had it. Each year there's they... herb of the year for each year. Oh. And this year it's the rose. I didn't know that. Rose. Just yeah. not the multiflora. Mm. Uh, it's they, in the rose we're, family, yeah. so yeah. yes, it is. Were you is, starting to say it was for fence rose? Yeah, this uh, this plant, the USDA, you know, the 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 like what equivalent of like NRCS, the the soil and water people, uh, would give this to farmers and say. Great. Nothing eats it. Nothing eats the berries. Plant it, and it'll be a fence for it. It's like a barbed wire fence forever. You know, it's yeah. self, self repairing. You don't have to. Well, I mean, it has these wonderful little nice red fruit. You know, uh, things eat red fruit. I mean, I don't know what. You know, so now it's everywhere, and it's just such a. I don't even. It's invasive. Yeah, I don't even. It's so oh, common it's they don't even it's classify a, it as invasive it's anymore. Number two on the invasive species list. Like in Ohio, I, think I believe like, they took it off the list because it's so common. Invasive yeah. species are trying to eradicate, but it's right. so common they no, even yeah, stopped it's, eradication it's, it's still, attempts. Yeah, but the, the problem is there's some invasive species that are no longer in, invasive; they're naturalized. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, dandelion. Well, tomatoes, okay. yeah, but it's hard to you I'm know. Sorry, they're native. I'm you're right. Native well, of the opposite of mine. But the uh, you know, well, Grand like Florida, you have the, the the pepper. You know, there's that one the Brazilian, Brazilian pepper. Brazilian pepper yeah. that's just yeah. awful. Yeah. Um, but invasive species that compete with right. native stuff, and because there's no limiting factor, everything in nature has a limiting factor. You know, um, some plants can't grow in wetlands because if they get they're susceptible to a fungus, and if they get the roots wet, they die. That's a limiting factor. These guys, they you know we have nothing that limits them. They then evolve here, so nope. um, they evolved in Asia. You know they're an Asiatic mm, rose, they're but they're American. They're, they're adaptable. Yeah. Well, their their scientific name is really great. It's uh, easy to remember. Probably one of the easiest. This is multiflora rose. Uh, so its scientific name is Rosa multiflora. <laughs> that's the, that's the, yeah. Now there are native roses. One of my the most beautiful ones, I, I love the native rose, a wild rose called a Rosa Palustris, it's a swamp rose. Mm. Really brilliant. I mean, it's rare, but uh, it's really great. Huh? 